Ooh, it has been a hot minute. Today's video is also something we have not done in quite a while. I think maybe 2020 since the last time we did one of these. Well, it's 2022. We're talking about gear. We are doing a $500 giveaway. Oh shit, it is getting serious up in here, folks. Lots of folks like my buddy Taylor from Best Damn EDC do an everyday carry several times a year and go over all the sweet pocket bling they are currently rocking, which is great. And it's actually the way that I did my last thing like this back in 2020. The reason that I haven't done an everyday carry update is that, well, to be honest, my everyday carry has gotten a little boring these days. Working from home means I have easy access to pretty much whatever I need, so no need for me to carry three knives, a firearm, a flashlight, a full socket set, a corkscrew, night vision goggles, two pins, and a tactical bottle opener. My actual everyday carry has slimmed down tremendously. So I went down this YouTube rabbit hole the other day and I saw this series that GQ does called 10 Things I Can't Live Without. And I thought, well, that's a pretty cool way to do it because it not only includes stuff that you carry on you, but other items you use religiously, items that are part of your essential list of shit you use every day. So I figured we'd give it a go. But before we do, let's take a second to talk about the $500 giveaway and say a quick thanks to the sponsor of today's video and the generous folks responsible for this giveaway, Cox and Colors. If you aren't familiar with Cox and Colors, then first off, what are you doing with your life? <laughs> I mean, seriously, where have you been? They're by far my favorite place to get awesome men's jewelry. The most recent addition to my Clocks and Colors collection is this little bit of pinky goodness right here called Rock the Boat. I love all the carvings Clocks and Colors does on their stuff and this tasty little blue Peter Sight stone, which now that I think about it, Peter Sight sounds a little bit like if genitalia were to gain the ability to have sight. I don't know, just Peter Sight's kind of a weird word in my opinion. I also picked up this cool little guy, which is one of their newer releases. Uh, it's called Coronation is the name of it. it. Has a nice little sweet black onyx stone in it. Just money. I have a whole gang of rings from the good folks at Clocks and Colors, and I love them all. And they're basically the only rings I wear these days. They also have great necklaces, bracelets, sunglasses, all types of cool shit. They're also awesome folks, which is why they're doing this giveaway today. And not only any giveaway, we're talking $500 gift card to their site. So here's how it works. To enter, you have to do a few things. You have to be a subscriber to my channel. You have to put a comment on the video and you have to put hashtag clocks and colors. Then go and click the link in the description I'm gonna put down below and sign up for their mailing list. When you do that, it is going to automatically get you a $40 gift card to use on their site. Everybody who clicks the link and signs up is gonna get 40 bucks. It also will enter you in the giveaway to have a chance to win the $500 prize. And that's it. Clocks and Colors will draw a winner one week from the upload of this video and notify the winner via email. Big thanks to the folks at Clocks and Colors for sponsoring this video, doing the giveaway, and just being general badasses. All right, so let's get cracking on these essentials. First up on the list, a little nod to my buddy Pete. What's in my pockets? Okay, so I'm lumping all the stuff that I carry in my pockets into kind of one category to, well, because I have more than 10 items, let's be honest. So number one is a pocket knife. For the sake of brevity, we will not get into the whole knife being a tool, not a weapon conversation, and the multitude of things I use a knife for throughout the day. We've had this talk. By the way, mine is blown that some countries, it's illegal to carry a pocket knife. What are we doing here? Where, where are we going with things? Are we gonna start making everything that could potentially be dangerous illegal? I mean, are we gonna like make screwdrivers and hammers illegal next? I mean, I don't know, I just don't get it. The knife I carry changes daily, obviously. I know, I have a problem, don't judge me. But the one I have in my pocket today is the Protect Malibu. It's just dope. I mean, look at the action on this thing, come on. People talk about drop action. Oh, come on, I mean, come on. Opens quick all blacked out, awesome. But depending on the day, could be carrying this sweet Hellraiser that I made with the good folks at Red Horse. This thing gets a ton of pocket time. Actually, uh, when we first designed it and made it, it 
didn't come out of my pocket for like a couple months, which is super rare for me. I actually think there is some of these left on their site. I'm pretty sure there is. So if something you're interested in, definitely go check it out. Also, basically anything with an access lock is gonna get some pocket time for me. I'm a sucker for an access lock. This uh, Osborne, huge fan of the Osborne from Benchmade. You guys know, I've talked about it a million times. The Benchmade bug out. I mean, I am a sucker for a bug out. If you've never had a bug out, strongly suggest you get yourself one. Sometimes you might be in a, you know, spider coat kind of mood. In the mood for a little spidey flick. Got a little spidey action going. You can't ever go wrong with a paramilitary two, paramilitary three, but especially anything from spider coat with this compression lock. Big fan of the compression lock. Also, in the same pocket, I always have a pair of AirPods. Nothing special here, just a standard pair of AirPod Pros. Really convenient for phone calls, listening to podcasts, audiobooks while I work. Use them every single day. Right above that, in the little auxiliary pocket, watch pocket, I call it a Zippo pocket because, I mean, let's be honest, it fits a Zippo perfect. I smoke cigars, as you guys well know, so I always have a brass Zippo with a jet insert. Also great for lighting candles, burning threads off clothes, fraying nylon cords lighting a fire, which is kind of what lighters are for. Lots of handy uses for a lighter, and also Zippos are just awesome. So, always have one of those on, which is my wallet pocket. My wallet of choice is the Hobe from the good folks at Open Sea Leather. No Costanza wallet for this guy. You guys have heard me sing the praises of this thing many, many times. Great quality leather with all the patina, patina, patina you could ask for. Minimal, thin, looks great, holds what cards I need, and a few bills. Says uh, bad mother on the back. Yeah, yours isn't gonna say that. This was a special make, but um, nevertheless, this is a bad mother for sure. Back right pocket is gonna be the phone pocket. Yes, phone goes in the back pocket, the superior pocket to carry your phone. Come at me, bro. It's the perfect phone pocket. iPhone 11 Pro Max. Almost time to get an upgrade at this point, but this guy's still working great for me, so I'm still rocking the 11. Nice big screen, because I do a lot of work on it. Emails, conference calls, social media, etc. Got a leather case on it from the folks at Bullstrap because I have an unhealthy obsession with leather. And finally, back left pocket, Mighty Hank. This is another thing that since I started carrying, I use it every single day, every day clean sunglasses, camera lenses, anything with glass or a lens or a screen cleans it like magic. You guys have heard me talk about this thing. My buddy Taylor gave me this particular one, always in the back left pocket. Next up, I have for a long time now blamed my friends, Taylor and Pete, for dragging me into this rabbit hole. I was perfectly content with rolling with a Luminox which I still maintain is a good watch until they introduced me to the world of mechanical watches. Now I am deep down the rabbit hole, obsessed, and will probably need a divorce lawyer before long. And it's all their fault. Thanks, Taylor and Pete. <laughs> this is another one that on any given day will be different. But my two current favorites are my sub that I recently picked up, which I've been super pumped about. If you're big into watches and mechanical watches especially, I mean, Rolex Sub, it was kind of one of my grail watches, it was a goal of mine, and I'm super pumped to have this in the collection. It ends up on my wrist a whole, whole lot. The other one that I wear an absolute ton is my Tudor. I love my Tudor Black Bay. It has a more vintage look with the red bezel. I don't know, it just has a different feel, and sometimes you're just in that red bezel watch kind of. A good hat is almost as hard to find as a good pair of jeans. Can't be too tall in the front, too short. Can't be the flat bill thing. Nothing against guys that wear it, I just can't do it. Has to be a mesh back because my head gets hot. I wear a hat mostly because I'm lazy and it keeps me from having to get haircuts as often. You wake up, your hair looks all crazy and homeless, look crazy as hell, slap on a hat, problem solved. Move about your day. Also, nice side effect, keeps the sun out of your eyes. Now, I've heard that people with light eyes are more sensitive to bright light. I don't know if this is true, that could be complete bullshit, but I have blue eyes and bright light drives me nuts. All squinted up, just all miserable and puckered up. So a good pair of sunglasses is essential for me. I do live in a sunshine state after all, so it's a 
little more clutch here than in some places. I've been wearing these Oakley Holbrooks for a while now and I love them. They are lightweight. I love the style of them. I think they look good. They are polarized. They fit my face good. They don't move around. They don't slide down my nose. Big fan overall. You guys have probably seen one of these sitting around in some of my videos because I never go far without them. My Yetis. My wife actually makes fun of me and says I'm the thirstiest person that she knows. <laughs> I never leave the house without two of them. This one keeps my coffee hot. This one keeps my water cold. They have lids on them so I don't spill shit everywhere. It's basically an insulated adult sippy cup. It's, it's pretty much what it is. I'm, I'm not gonna try to pretend like it's not. The other thing the lids do that's great is it keeps shit out of my mustache, which if you are a mustache guy, you will know the struggle is real with shit in your mustache. I know, I know what you're saying. Coffee is kind of one of those things everybody on YouTube talks about, but there is a reason for that. This shit is life. Without coffee, I would strangle at least three people a day. <laughs> I literally drink coffee all day. I actually used to make fun of my dad because it would be 95 degrees outside, he'd be working out in the yard, sweating his ass off, drinking hot coffee. I never understood it. And then one day I realized, I'm doing the same shit. I drink it all day long. This is another one that changes a lot, but my go-to that I always have on hand is Black Rifle Coffee. That's kind of my standard. There was some weird political crap going on around them for a while, but at the end of the day, it's a veteran-owned and operated company. They make great coffee. That's good enough for me. Those two things are good enough for me. My coffee doesn't need to turn into a political debate or statement. It's just coffee, folks. My go-to blends for those guys is their AK-47 blend, if I'm doing like espresso and stuff like that, and uh, Blackbeard's Delight, and they're just black if I'm doing just regular coffee, which that is Blackbeard's Delight. Heaven in a bag. If you have a beard, especially one with any kind of length on it, you need some products to help tame the beast. You gotta keep that thing healthy and smelling nice. There are so many beard products out there, Jeremy. I have two words for you. Just two. Old money. Enough said. Mic drop, I'm out. There's a ton of great beard products out there, but nothing, I've tried a whole shitload of them and nothing smells as good as old money to me. Think really classy cigar lounge or library, wood, whiskey, leather chairs, cigars. I absolutely Love this shit. Get you some old money beard oil, maybe a little utility balm, maybe both. Your beard is happy and smelling like a legend. A good soft t-shirt is the cornerstone of my wardrobe. Might be sad, but it's true. T-shirts, kind of like the hats we talked about in jeans, you gotta find just the right one. Not all are created equal. I can hate 100% cotton. You take it out of the dryer, it's short, it's up to your nipples, your belly's hanging out. After you wear it for one day, the damn thing's stretched out, it's down to your knees, the arms are all big, it's blown out of shape. I'm out. I hate cotton. I like a poly cotton blend. Big fan. Feels nice, got a little stretch, holds its shape. I found that I like the shirts made by the company Next Level, which is why I get my shirts printed uh, on Next Level t-shirts. I think they're just great. A little bit of an athletic cut, just a little bit of one, a little less material through here so you don't look like you're wearing a potato sack, a little tighter through the arms. Nobody mad at that. In Florida, there is an essential piece of footwear that I wear pretty much exclusively like eight or nine months a year the almighty flip-flop. I can't help it, man. I love me some flops. It's balmy here and my feet get hot. If you wanna have some sweaty, stinky ass feet, go for it. The flip-flops are their perfect shoe in hot environments. I like these uh, flow hose, flow joes, I think is what they're called. Nothing's particularly special. I get them at Costco, they're pretty cheap. They have a nice squishy sole, but are more durable on the bottom. The bottoms are like a harder rubber, so they, they last a pretty long time. I'm a big fan, you can tell these things are dirty and worn out because I wear them constantly. A couple months a year, it is too cold for flip-flops. 
I rock boots from NYX Boots. These are handmade and by far the nicest boots I've ever owned. I actually don't deserve to have a pair of boots this nice. <laughs> they look great with a pair of jeans. I love them. And on the off chance that I'm not in the mood for either one of those, occasionally I go with some good old Chucks. If I have these three shoes, I don't need anything else, man. I'm set. Chucks, boots, and a pair of flip-flops. I'm good to go. I'm a simple guy. Doesn't take a lot to keep me happy. Not going into any specific brands. Uh, this is a barrel pick of some Four Roses that one of my Patreons was kind enough to send me a bottle of that they did a barrel pick of. Um, and this cigar is one of mine. But the brand is not important. We're not going to get into that because, well, YouTube frowns on cigar talk. And two, it would be a whole video in and of itself. But at the end of the day, nothing relaxes me more than sitting down with a good cigar and a pour of some nice whiskey. No better way to treat yourself and just put everything out of your mind at the end of a long day, in my opinion. All right, folks. Well, I think that's going to wrap this one up. This probably ended up being way more than 10 things, but if you group them all together, you can probably make 10 things. Is that a thing? Can you do that? Is that <laughs> because that's what we did. But anyway, don't forget to check the details below and sign up for a chance to win that $500 gift card from our friends at Clocks and Colors. One last big thank you to those guys for doing this awesome giveaway. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. If you did, feel free to smash that like button. That always helps us out. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. We'd love to have you on board. I hope everyone is having a fantastic week and we will see you in the next video. First video of 2022 in February. You're on it, Jeremy. <laughs> Lots of merch things happening, taking up some time. I'm gonna do a video soon. There's been a lot of reorganizing of studio space. Try to make things more efficient so that once we get rolling this year, we can get more videos out soon.